Hello and welcome back to our Photoshop lessons with VIP tutorials. Uh, in this particular series we will focus on creating digital makeup. Um, that really comes in handy where um, you take a photo, it's not exposed, it's underexposed and you need to add some really interesting and cool facts. Um, and in order to start let's go into let's go into our CD, let's open the um, eye uh, and that's right in the tutorial folder digital makeup eye. Um, you see that this this particular photo is um, really definitely too dark um, so we're missing some brightness we're missing some contrast and if you're new to Photoshop um, tools such as image adjustments and brightness and contrast will save your photos in a lot of the situations so um, let's in this case um, bring in some brightness into our into our photo and let's let's create some sort of a ghostly effect in this case so I'm gonna actually overexpose the fo that photo tiny little bit um, and increase that contrast and at the same time um, we can also change the color of the iris um, so let's go ahead and use the elliptical marquee tool that's located on the left hand side in your tool palette let's go ahead and make a selection around that eye and if you if you need to move that selection um, around the screen, so let's say it's it's right now we see it's sticking out to the side a little bit too much. All you have to do is click right at the center of the selection, drag it with your mouse by holding the left uh, mouse button uh, down, and let's go ahead and and just drop it right there. Um, at this point, what we can do is adjust hue and saturation of that iris. So. Um, now we see that this iris is not really interesting and and it's kind of a, a it, it really doesn't stand out too much so what I want to do I want to change the color of that iris to to the bluer spectrum and we're gonna increase the saturation a lot um, so you can see that these um, small little changes really bring in the difference um, and with the hue you can really create a lot of <laughs> weird effects sometimes you can really change the color of the iris to green or yellow uh, going even into a creepy sort of uh, vampire like reddish spectrum but uh, just to keep it more natural let's let's keep it light light blue and uh, we could actually drop um, a little bit of extra lightness into into our iris so now if you go back and look uh, right in the history palette you're gonna see there is a series of steps we took so let's take a snapshot at this point and this way we can see the difference after applying brightness and contrast um, and um, changing the color of the iris so we can go back and follow these steps so this is the original image we started with and this is right 30 seconds into our tutorial into into the changes so you can see the drastic changes um, resulting from from basically applying two two filters um, so now let's go back to our, our background and let's let's go ahead and apply some digital makeup and colorize these um, this eye right here so let's add a new layer um, looking at the layer palette on the right hand side right at the bottom um, there is a little icon that it, once you click on it creates a new layer and let's name this layer as our colorizing layer the way you name a layer is just double click on it and start typing away okay and now we're gonna change the blending mode to to normal um, there is a lot more tutorials in, in, in that talk about different types of blending modes and what blending modes are but in this case if you've seen those tutorials just go ahead and change that to colorizing or color and let's go ahead pick a brush tool from our tool palette and let's pick let's say since we changed the color of the iris to blue let's say stay within the same with this within the same uh, uh, parameters so let's let's pick a nice and blue and go ahead and start start painting away and in order to decrease the brush size without actually right clicking on the screen and changing the size of the brush this way um, there is a neat shortcut in Photoshop left and right bracket right next to your letter P on the keyboard left bracket decreases the size of the brush whereas the right bracket increases the size of the brush so let's uh, if you have a wider uh, wider part of the eye that you need to colorize um, you can go ahead and, and use that and we're using right bracket right now I'm increasing the size of the brush in order to capture some of the uh, some of the back of it and 
let's do the same thing right at the bottom but since the bottom of the eye most of the time has uh, a lot less makeup put on it um, let's let's switch that to something something lighter all I did I clicked on the color tool picker and picked some some really nice light blue and let's just go ahead and and uh, draw around that bottom portion of the eye but you really don't have to be precise I'll teach you in a second how to how to remove some of these uh, some of these uh, mishaps when you're when you move your mouse if you don't have a pan tool installed um, on your on your PC or if you're not using that um, you can just basically use the eraser tool once you once you paint around around the eye so let's have that and now let's go ahead and bring some, bring in some really contrasty looking uh, uh, effects right at the top of that eye so that really draws the attention and uh, for that part what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use a increase the size of the brush to let's say even a hundred or 65 65 would be good and at this point all I want to do is paint right at the top of that eye and I'm gonna delete some of that using our um, uh, eraser tool um, just because I want to keep a really feathered in effect right where that blue blends in with the purple so in order to delete the area that I don't want in digital effect or don't want in the photo go ahead click on the eraser tool using a fairly large diameter such as a hundred even we can just go ahead and, and go go ahead and erase some of that effect that we just applied to to the eye leaving a little bit of that feathered in edge that covers the bottom portion playing but um, another very very useful tool that you will see um, when you work in Photoshop is a smudge tool. Um, what that's going to do, smudge tool is basically stretching any part of the selection or any part of the image or the layer that you're working with. Um, and if you want to, let's say, uh, uh, we're going to actually stretch this back side of it a little bit more, make it, make it sort of uh, uh, into a point. So all we have to do is just go ahead and drag that our mouse right on the top of that um, uh, the colorizing layer, and we're going to actually make that make that stretch the selection a little bit more, make make that eye opened up open up a little bit here. And uh, um, at this point, uh, since since I was uh, I intended to work on a ghostly look for that eye, um, let's go ahead and select the background layer. Now let's go into uh, our uh, marquee or uh, lasso tool and we're gonna make a selection right around that colorizing layer um, that we just that we just created and again you really don't have to be too precise with that selection just because Photoshop offers a really cool tool um, such as uh, a modification of the feather what feather is it it basically allows you to blend in um, or, or make that selection that we just created not too sharp so the radius of 20 will make that selection really smooth and you're gonna see that once you click OK all of these marching ends they're sort of sharp and, and, and not really organized um, now they turn into more of an uh, oval shape and now since we selected the eye itself we want to inverse that selection in order to inverse any selection in Photoshop you go into select and click inverse. Now everything that is outside of the colorizing layer, uh, which is our background or the part of the face, uh, we're going to actually desaturate or um, remove some of the colors. So in order to do that, go into image adjustments, hues, and saturation, and we're going to we're going to just bring that saturation way down. Um, and this way you can see that the photo is turning sort of black and white we're leaving some of these areas uh, slightly colored so that um, that it, it, it's not completely black and white and at the same time we can just add some lightness to our photo uh, turning into a more of a ghostly effect uh, and uh, let's go ahead and just click OK now we can go into select deselect and let's take another snapshot so going back into our history let's take another snapshot and see how we did we started with an eye that was uh, a, a photo of the eye that was uh, obviously underexposed too dark we adjusted a lot of that by selecting brightness contrast and playing around with the iris of the eye so this is for a more of a natural look and now we applied a digital makeup uh, and, and increased the lightness or, or desaturated also the background turning into a, a, a nice digital effect that could be used for a lot of logos uh, or even uh, products on the websites and stuff like that. So one more time I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please come back to VIP tutorials in order to learn more tr 
tricks that you can use in Photoshop and, and learn really cool techniques fairly quick. And uh, thank you again for watching.